When you bind a quilt, it can be a little bit tricky to turn the corner, so here's what you do. Bring your binding down all the way to the corner, and right at the point of that corner, you're going to place your thumb or your finger or something else, and you're going to take the binding and you're going to turn it over the edge of the quilt. And when you do that, you'll have a diagonal line that runs from the point towards the center of the quilt. Then you want to lay your finger or some straight object down right along this line as if it were continuing from the edge where you started. And you want to flip this binding over it. When you do that, it will look like you've got one strip of binding laying on top of another strip of binding, when in fact it's really one continuous piece. Now you're going to pin this down on either side, about three inches from the corner, and making sure that you hold this in place, if you lift it up, it looks like you've got kind of a double folded triangle there. You want to make sure that you don't lose that, so you're going to slip a little pin in right here, and you're going to slip a little pin in right here, and leave that there, and then continue pinning down the side as you normally would. It's really important when you do this to make sure that the result is that all the layers of the quilt and binding are flush on this edge and past the corner that they're flush on this edge. And then I'll show you in a few minutes how you stitch this down.